Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about Declarative Shadow DOM. Now this is something to be beneficial for web components in that it will allow them to be created without using the imperative API, without using JavaScript. So we can just place HTML tags in and create some Shadow DOM. Um, certainly for sites that are server-side rendered or statically generated, this um, would be quite beneficial. Um, so let's we'll jump in and have a quick look at how we do it today using the imperative API, and then we'll see what we can do with declarative Shadow DOM. It's only in Chrome at the moment, um, and it's experimental. Um, so you would need to come into Chrome um, Flags and enable experimental web platform features to play around with this. We've got that enabled. Um, so let's go and have a quick look. If I, so if I create a web page here, so I have an index.html, and say we were going to try and create an element, my element, we would need a script in here for this. main.js so let's create that and let's create this element imperatively so in our constructor we would call super and then we do this dot um, shadow root And if we call attach shadow, then we can imperatively create some shadow DOM. Um, but this, you know, this needs to run on the client. So if you're doing a server side component, you're not going to be able to run this. Uh, and then we just um, set some text on this imperative. Shadow DOM, and then if I um, custom elements dot define, just so we can get this registered, like so, um, and if we just show that in live server, uh, we can see that text coming up that we we put into our component. Um, and that is working correctly. Okay, so that's how you do it today. Imperative API, call attach shadow in JavaScript. Needs to run on the client. Server-side rendered, how can we do that? Well, with this feature enabled, I can now come in here and let's create a new element, my element two. And in there, I can specify the template tag Like so, and I can add a new attribute on here called um, shadow root. And similar to how we specified it in JavaScript, we can specify it's open or closed, pretty much always do it's open. Um, but with that there, this is gonna actually generate my custom element for me now declaratively. Um, I can add, I, well, let me type in there. Um, so I could add some light stuff in here. So let's do declarative shadow DOM. And we can get that in here. We can put a slot in here that would take that, um, that element there. So if I save that off, we should have, let me, um, L E -lit uh, now that should get created for us and appear up on the page so here is our declarative without any javascript uh, we've got that created we can see if we go into the elements if you look at my first element it's got a shadow root we created that with attached shadow and then my element two that has got a shadow root as well I'll just make that a little bit a little bit bigger for us. 
Um, so there's my, my shadow root there, and it's got the slot and the H2 in it. Um, so, yeah, it's just an experimental feature, but it would certainly be uh, beneficial to have this ability to create your shadow DOM using declarative statements rather than just the imperative JavaScript API. All right, just a quick overview of that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to click that subscribe below and change the alert icon to all, and you'll get updates for future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.